I remember an early trip past Cahokia. My father was a truck driver, and I occasionally as a little kid, six or seven, I would go with him and we would drive past it. I remember feeling like, wait a minute, like, what's this doing here? <laughs> you know, what is this? That drive past the mounds sparked a career for archaeologist Tim Pocketot. His research suggests that Cahokia, like Teotihuacan, is laid out on a celestial blueprint. The mounds are positioned in, in various ways, you know, to reference something. It's not, they're not arbitrarily, randomly placed. They never just dump dirt. Tim and his team are looking for evidence of that celestial blueprint just west of Cahokia's largest mound. They use a gradiometer, an instrument that detects holes where posts once stood. I'm seeing very quiet reading, and then it jumps up again, so it could be consistent with post holes. The original posts have rotted away, but new ones have been erected in their place. They form a ring with one post in the middle. It's known as Woodhenge. Woodhenge is a large ring of sizable cedar posts. And if you look from across that post to the perimeter post, you can watch the sun on the horizon rise and set, and you'd know when the solstices were. Just like the sun disk paintings in the Amazon, Woodhenge is a solar calendar. It can be used to determine when to plant and harvest, and when to gather for ceremonies. This is a big ritual ground. Inside the circle is some kind of sacred space, and you'd go there for certain ceremonial events. 